Hey, what's up, Tube? Willington here with a quick tutorial. Um, so if you accidentally format a card or delete something off of a card um, in your camera, your phone, or on your computer, you just delete a file only to realize that you actually need it. Um, here is a simple free way to recover it with ease. And that's using the free recovery software from Wondershare, um, which you can find the link to it in the description section below. So obviously the first thing to do is launch the app and wait for it. Okay, so this is the layout, really, really easy and basic here, which is really nice. And let's try to recover something that was on the memory card and we want to get it back. And this is going to be the same process for recovering anything from any external device, like a flash drive, digital camera, camcorder, MP3 player, iPad, whatever can connect to a computer and it has storage, you can basically recover anything that was on it that was deleted by mistake or something like that. So this is a really, really handy um, software to have around for someone who works with files and cards and phones and stuff like that. So let's get into it. Oh, and you can probably see right over here, it says upgrade. And that's because the version that we are using here is the free version. You can recover up to 100 megabits free of charge. So that's really nice. But if what you're trying to recover is more than 100 megabytes, you would have to upgrade to the pro version, which gives you no limit to however amount or size of file that you're trying to recover. Anyways, to recover from a memory card, we would have to go back here to external device recovery right here. Click on that and it shows you all things that you can recover from. So basically anything that has storage on it and you can connect it to the computer, you're able to recover stuff back from it. Anyways, we go next. And this is the card right here. Like you can see it shows nothing on there and I can actually open it up here for you so you can see. This is the card right here that I'm going to be recovering. If we open that up, there's nothing. The folder is empty. There's nothing on there completely because I deleted everything off of it um, from my camera. And right here, it also shows nothing on there. But we have files on there that maybe I forgot that I needed them or I thought I'd saved them, but I actually didn't and I want to recover them. Um, this is a way to get those files back. And that's the card right there, 780D. And after selecting it, you know, select it like that, you can go down here and say start. The program will start scanning the card and the time it takes to scan the card, it depends on how big the card is and how much recoverable stuff is on there. But if you're working with a big card, you don't have to wait for it to finish all the way. So if I know, if I go here and I search in here and I find that what I want, let's say some pictures, the snow day pictures here, and I find that this is the file that I want on there, I don't have to wait for it to finish. It has it gives you a preview right here to the side, which is really, really nice. You can actually preview pictures just like that. Pretty nice. So yes, let's say that's the picture that I wanted to recover. I can just say up here, stop. Are you sure you want to stop the scanning? Say yes, because you've already found what you want. So just stop it. And that way, when it's done like that, you can actually preview it and right on this page, you can do recover. It won't let you recover when the scanning is still going. So, and yeah, so right here we are. These are the pictures that are on this card. There are videos on here too. And you can see the sizes right over here. But yeah, so let's go to the snow day folder here. You can see all these pictures that are not on the card like we looked at it earlier. Um, if you look right here. The card is empty, but it's showing that they are here. So it's just run the program, scanned everything that was deleted off the card. And these are all recoverable stuff here. So let's say this is the picture I want to recover here. Um, I can just either preview it and do recover, 
or if there are multiple um, pictures that you wanted to recover. So let's say that one, I select it. And let's say, look through, look through, and maybe that's the other one I wanted. And then just select it right here and then do recover down to the bottom here. But it's also one other nice feature I wanted to show you up here. If you know the name of the picture that you are looking for or the file you are looking for, instead of browsing through just this old way like this, you can just type it up here. Let's say um, MG and it will oh, up here and I select everything and do, oh, I have to go back and unselect this in order for this to work very well, sorry. So if I go up here to the main, um, the main root of everything and say, just do snow, see, it'll bring back that file that's snow and then that folder right there. So instead of browsing through, you can just type the names out in here and then you can just easily find the name of the file or you can easily find the file that you were trying to look for. All right, so once you get in here, like I said, you can select the files that you wanted to recover. So let's say that's one of them. And this is the other one. Like I said, I really like this preview feature. So if you don't know the names of the files, like these pictures, you can just preview it and, that's, and just know that, oh yeah, that's the one I wanted. And then once you select the files that you wanted, um, actually one more thing I wanted to show here, you can select up to the day that you wanted to recover. So if you deleted something today, you can just select it here or in the recent weeks, you know, stuff like that. You can customize the period that you want to recover that things were, that were deleted in a certain period. So it's really, really such a handy um, software. So anyways, so go back down here after selecting the files. Oh, that is selected. All right, so let's select those two files. Now we can go back down here, recover and click on that. And right here, so the free version, like I told you, will help, will, will let you recover up to 100 megabytes. But if what you're trying to recover is more than that, you can use the pro version here and that gives you unlimited recovery recovery file size. So you can recover however large the files are. So that would be nice. But for our case here, the files I'm trying to recover, as you can see, only four megabytes and this is three megabytes. So I'm not worried about that. So go ahead, recover. Since this works for me, I just go evaluate, evaluate, and then you have to select the path uh, where you want the files to be saved. So I will go to see, I'll probably just dump it on my desktop, user, Wellington, and right there, select that and do recover. Yep, complete, and it actually opens up the folder. So right there, yeah, those are the two files that we recovered all looking nice these I actually deleted them just because they were blurry i took my pictures of my kids outside and i didn't like this a little bit blurry but so yeah you can actually just do like that and the files are all recovered and actually right here you see it created um, a folder up here that has that stuff in it so that is pretty sweet, but that's if you're that's the same method that you use if you're trying to recover something that was on a memory card or on a phone or anything like that. And then let's say let's say you want to recover something that you deleted um, off of a, off of the computer and you want to recover it was not on a memory card. The process is basically pretty much the same for all of this. It's really really easy to use but let's say let's go to deleted files it will ask you for the hard drive what where the file that you deleted was you select that and then do the same thing start it will do the scanning complete this is a new drive so there's not much on there and then you go 
find where the file that you deleted was. So maybe they changed some more because some that I deleted not too long ago. So it will show me that. So just go ahead, recover. Again, it's smaller than 100 megabytes. Evaluate, select where I want it to go. And yep, done. So that's what the song was. It gives you it gives you the same um, what do you call it path where the original file was where it was deleted. So so that's pretty sweet. So that that is the song and all these other um, all these other recovery modes or whatever you want to call them. These modes here are basically that easy to use. You just go in, choose the driver or the drive that you're trying to recover from and it's just that easy to do. Um, the only one I wanna talk about is maybe the all around recovery, this one over here. For this one here, it's basically, again, kind of the same thing, but what this one does, if you used any of these methods out here and you did not see the file that you're trying to recover, what all this all around does is it does a deep search. So it's, it takes a lot longer than the other methods. You select the hard drive that the file was on that you're trying to find, and then when you start, it will take a lot longer because it does a very, very deep um, scan. You find a lot more from a hard drive in this way than the other, uh, the other methods because it just goes way deeper into stuff to find all those files. So, but like I said, this is free if you're, what you're trying to recover is under 100 megabytes, but for anything bigger than that, you're gonna have to upgrade to maybe the pro version so you can get unlimited file size to recover. I'll put the link to this software in the bottom there so you can check it out if you're trying to recover a file. It's really, really easy to use and you will find it very useful. Um, so yes, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. I wish you a quick recovery. Get it? See ya.